everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So, we are a good month past where we were last time. Uh, the Royals finished their battle up, um, and if you haven't seen it, go back and take a look. It was, man, that was a, that one skull match, getting the uh, additional lance plus then reinforcements. It was pretty tough, we had to bail, but I mean, at least we got out of it okay. Now, I made some changes to the Sentinel and a couple, I think I made some minor tweaks to the other mechs. For that particular play through, we're still waiting for the mislinks to come back. I wanted to get all my normal mechs back first. So I focused on doing that. Now I made a change to... Ah, let's go to the mech bait. So I'm not going to worry about the Royals Lance right now. We're going to just focus on the Duelist stuff. So we got the Spectre up and running. I was able to get that outfitted because we have a dual duel today. Because there was no single duels for this month. Which is fine. Um, so here's this guy... It doesn't have a lot in it. We got a 270 core. So this thing is like super, super fast, right? It's a bullet, it's 812, um, which is great. So that should keep this thing alive. And we've got a pair of ER mediums and ER small laser. Now this guy is basically gonna serve as a distraction uh, for the enemy. So hopefully they'll be shooting at him while we move in the hatchet man. So that's all this guy is really good for. Now eventually we're gonna put a clan XL in here, which is gonna give us a crap ton of weight. Like, it's going to give us almost eight tons of extra space, which means we'll be upping the weaponry and all that stuff, right? So, it's going to make this mech really great at some point, but right now, we just don't have the money. It's like 735000 We can barely make our financial report, and we're two days away. So, we need coin, um, and we need gear. So, that's what we're going to focus on today. Now, the Hatcherman, um, I did have that Ultra 2 in there last time, and I'm like, ah, you know what? That's really a long-range weapon. It wasn't really doing anything for us, so I swapped the loadout around. Dropped back another in a machine gun, um, so we went back from three to four machine guns, and instead of the uh, Ultra, I put an SRM-6 with some Inferno ammo. And that also gave us a bit of extra weight to play with, so I was able to put a 250 core in, which now gives us a move of 5.8, so we can close with the enemy a little faster than what we were doing before, which is good. We've got a case in both torsos to protect the ammo. You know, hopefully we don't lose a side, but if we do, you know, we're still okay. Now, once again, this guy is going to eventually have an XL, Clan XL, and I didn't put it in because the price tag of a million was a little bit too much. Uh, we don't have that. So, but it is going to give us like almost six and a half tons of extra weight. So we can add a little bit better weaponry on this. Right now, this thing is running super cool. I was able to, I put a Clan Double Heat Sink Kit in here because we have lots of them. So now I don't have to worry about heat. We should be able to maintain it even if they put some uh, infernos or flamers or whatever on us or we run through fire. We should be just fine firing everything when we close with the enemy. Now the, the whole goal of this mech um, and you guys, I mean you guys chose the Hatchetman um, and you also chose going for a Berserker so I, I was taking that as an indication you want me to go all melee which is what this mech is basically going to be designed for. It's going to be designed to close and kill and that's it. Not going to worry about long range firepower. I'm not going to worry about too too much about big guns. I'm just going to worry about all the po like the uh, the point stuff that we can use when we're in close on somebody. So most likely, what I'll end up doing is I'll put a pair of Clan SRM sixes in here. Hopefully, one with acid ammo, one with inferno ammo. Uh, these machine guns might switch to Clan light machine guns, or they might go to machine gun arrays. I don't know yet. We'll see what we can get. Um, and then the lasers on the arms, I'm not that worried. I mean, we'll use whatever we can get, but I'm not really that worried about it. Somebody mentioned maybe getting a plasma cannon or something like that. Um, that's a possibility to overheat the enemy. I mean, we could go the overheating route too, um, by, by putting a couple flamers in the arms. Like, that's a possibility as well. But let me know what you think in the comments. But once again, I want to keep it close range weapons because if I start putting... I thought about this seriously. If I start putting long range weapons on this guy, then I'm going to fall back into my trusted shoot from range because we're stealthy and we can kill him at range. I want to close. I want to try and do as much melee damage as I can with this thing. I want to make it a bullet, make it super fast, get it in there, do massive damage. Eventually the Spectre is going to be the same way. I'm going to try to put a lot of melee stuff on it. We're going to close. We're going to kill um, using weapons and stuff. Now, I did try to get the mace onto the Spectre, but I can't do that because it requires hands on both arms, and I don't have that. Uh, I think I mentioned that last episode. Um, the one thing we didn't do was add the clan sensors to this guy. I probably should have done that, but I'm not going to take the time right now. There's only two days to the end of the month. I think it'll be a day before... Uh, do we want to just go ahead and do it? 
now leave it for now we're gonna we're gonna jump right into battle um so yeah that's what this the goal of this guy is so hopefully we will eventually be able to get an even bigger core in here maybe a 300 or something um get some more speed with the clan xl in there it'll give us some pretty good speed and then whatever's left over for um like lar like large amount of torso, torso mounted um uh, ballistics which i'm hoping we can get um in the battles upcoming so um yeah, we can just discard that. So the Inferno ammo I had to buy in the store. I've been checking the store. It's weird because the store, I thought it updated at the end of the month, and it did. But then I checked it in the middle of the month, and we got, I got a whole new list of stuff that was here. So, um, yeah, there was an Ultra 5 in here. We don't have any Ultra 5 ammo. I was hoping to pick that up, but I never got it. And like, there's lots of... I mean, there's, there's lots of ammo that appears in here every once in a while, so I'm not worried about getting ammo for what I need. It's just getting the weapons. So and I don't really, I didn't really have the C bills for buying a lot of stuff. So once we get the funds up and running, well, we should be okay. Going to keep my eye open for Clan XLs in the um, the Royals playthrough, and I'm also not going to worry too too much about um, sharing gear between the two playthroughs. I know I said I wanted to try try and stay as true as possible, but I think in order to get the most out of the series, it's going to be about really developing the mechs. So in order to do that, I think we need to share gear back and forth. So that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to decrease the Royals playthrough to increase the Duelist playthrough. I'll try and keep things as balanced as possible, sharing back and forth. But you know, we'll just we'll just kind of go with what it is. So let's go to the command center. Actually, wait first before we do that, let's go to the barracks. Uh, we didn't get very many missions this month, which was kind of interesting. Um, but we do have some skill points, I believe, to spend. Yes, so Viragio is going to be, sorry, Virago. I've been calling her Viragio, and someone pointed out that it's Virago, but it, she's going to end up Viragio, much like Orion ends up Orion or Cicada ends up Cicada. She's going to be Viragio. That's just how it's going to be. It's just, unfortunately, that's just who I am. So um, we have to decide what we're going to do with her. Um, so I'm thinking that what we're going to do right now is we're going to go probably with guts first then we'll go piloting and then we'll figure out what we're going to do here it might end up being she might end up be in, taking phantom mech um simply because that uh, specter has got so much speed but i don't know like i, I might go escape escape us from max devasa but it just means that the second mech that we use for the dual duels has to be always a fast mech so i gotta consider that too or i might just go straight up melee bill like we did with the other guy and just go um you know, juggernaut, and then we'll go straight to um, uh, Berserker on this side. But we'll see. Um, but anyway, let's just go with Guts for this for this time Training being. Complete. And then Vengeance, yep, who better. I've corrected the spelling on. I apologize. I, someone mentioned that they it was, like, really bothering them that it was spelt incorrectly. And I'm a terrible speller, so if you notice any spelling mistakes, um, most likely they were, they were unintentional, so just let me know. Um, but, yeah, we don't have any points to spend on him. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. It's probably going to be Guts, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I want to make sure we don't bail out. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the battle here. So, Command Center. So, this is a one skull against um, Clan Jade Falcon. So, it should be an interesting battle. Um, hopefully, we can close and don't have to worry about it. We're going to go full salvage, of course, with this. We should be fine. I know we need sea bills, but I would rather these battles get uh, full salvage. So we'll load, clear, apply, and then we'll go with the Hatchetman and the Spectre. I'm really hoping we don't get too horribly uh, brutal mechs. And we'll go with these two, and let's go. Yeah, I know we don't have... Uh, we still don't have... Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Let's just go. Command interface All right, here initiated. we go. We're going to have to get off this planet because we're going we're gonna to end up having the same battlefield every time, which is kind of bad, but... Like creatures living beneath the surface it feels that way doesn't it um so we got guys up here all right well let's do the same old same old so we got a little bit better speed than before slightly better i mean not i mean it's marginal but still that's pretty good actually we we drop with um i guess we didn't technically drop though we just started so we get spawn protection which is nice um yeah i can also get an extra an extra jump jet on this thing too which i think i'm going to eventually do all right, let's get these turned up a little bit. Get up to here. I'm going. See what we're up against. Okay, looks like a thorn, and that looks like a stormcrow. 
and I really oh that doesn't look okay I don't think it's got clan heavies on both sides like we like we had happen with the Royals that would be bad uh, you need to go full speed too so we got some good movement here we're gonna get into the uh, minerals on the move add a little bit of extra stealth here so we're both really stealthy here I'm really hoping that that um, stops them from spotting us early of course we can't see them either so Standing by. find out here in a second let's get up to here So it's a Grendel and a Stormcrow. C. C version, large pulse, LBX 10, paramediums. So the LBX looks like it was in the left arm. I think it's in the left arm. And then the Grendel. Oh man, they got some good firepower. So we're going to have to pull them down fast. Grendel's 45 tons, this is 55 tons. So, see, this is the reason why the Stormcrow, like in that last battle, if we had trying to go up against the Stormcrow, it's got pretty good armor. Like, for a 55 tonner, it's got pretty good armor. So, I mean, it would have been hard to pull down with what we had before he murdered us horribly. So this has got increased or decreased armor on the arm. I think his PPC's on this side, and these are all his other lasers here. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. All right, so let's just end here. Standing by. I just don't know. I'm going to move to here. I uh, mean, they got range, so... On my way. Double time. At least we're both... At least we both have the chameleon system. So we should be pretty darn hidden. This is hey, going to be command? super tricky. We're gonna get one Double really time. good shot off at us too. That's the worst part about it. Yeah, they don't see us. Aye, aye. I'm gonna walk we'll up go. here. Hopefully we can like pull one away from the herd. Um Yes, Commander. They're fast, too. That's the problem, right? Like, as soon as we close, they're going to move out and take a shot at us. So we want to be in a position to be able to move in and attack them. So let's get to here. We'll see what happens. They're probably going to be picking us up right about now. We are in striking position, though. I'm glad I upgraded that engine. Um, let's reserve. Maybe they don't see us. Commander. Or maybe they just went before us. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, let's get up here. Right Here up against go. that wall. Make it harder for them to come around the corner to hit us. Um, let's... I don't know. I'm your spaniel. Don't quite have the range. I'm tempted just to inch forward one, one space for this turn, just to like right here. Onward. And we'll brace, and then we'll brace. Awaiting orders. And see if we're in melee range. Keeping it cool. I'm here. We're not. They're going to try and backstrike me no matter what I do here. Ooh, I mean, I could try and creep in a little more. So maybe we do... This. Don't have a lot of firepower either. It's all going to come down to how much melee damage we can do to them. I 
I mean, or do we just decide to try and like... No, nah, because if they spot me, I'm done. They're gonna just hammer me really badly. They can move away and then just hammer me. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something. So let's just go. Let's just go. They outweigh us. Just bad enough. Alright, good chances to hit here. Not so good as the other guys here. I think this is where his That's a lot of armor though. Let's go here. Let's see if we can get this guy's arm. It's down to 60. I mean, I don't. we're probably not going to take it, but let's see what we can get on it. It's all going to come down to melee. How much damage we can do, like, point blank. Yep. Oh! Did not expect that. But I guess we didn't move last turn, so, um... Makes sense. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, I know. Standing by. Uh, you are, are capable of meleeing. Um, so if I go here, that exposes my left side. This keeps the damage to where it was before. So we're gonna go in with a kick attack. Moving out. Maybe we can kick that arm off. All right, we hit. Here comes all the lasers. Okay, those all hit. Let's see what this guy does. Once we move, it's a lot harder for them to do. Oh crap! We lost the laser. I lost a weapon. All right, now, do we try and murder this guy fast and get him out of the battle, or do we go after... We, I don't think we can get behind the Stormcrow, can we? We can. We don't know what your heat's like. Um, mm. So the Grendel's taking a lot of damage on the one side. You got a lot less back armor. But I don't think I can actually get up there. Get behind him. I can get a side shot on him though. We could try and kick his leg off. Or if we go physical weapon. That's 73 damage. Let's go that route. See if we can take his whole side. Make sure you hit though buddy. Nice hit. 45, though. That's it? Okay. That's his left torso gone. This just, this just did. Critical hit. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's keep this guy on his toes. We could charge him. If we miss, though, we're done. If he goes straight up punch, it's 54, but all our weapons would be used up. We could straight up, we could kick him. Can we get our back? We can't get our back to the wall, but we should do it from the front. That way, if he decides to come around here to get a shot at our back, which he's probably going... I mean, we should kill this guy too, though. Aye, aye. No, we have to go after this guy. So if we go, let's say, kick, or go from here, what's the charge percentage? 34%. Kick is 66. I think we do that. We go after this side. At least that way our wait left side is to the Grendel. If he gets up, I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, most likely he'll come over here and try and shoot me in the back. But if he misses, he might hit his own guy. Let's just do it. He might hit his own guy. I don't know. It's a truck. We have to keep up the pressure. We can't. Um, how you like this? We can't do nothing. So. Miss. Two laser hits though. It's nice. 
Excellent. Oh, all right. I think he's dropping heat, that guy. Either that or he's moving out of the way for the Grendel to shoot. No, nope, Grendel's backing up the hill. They did not like what we did to them. I live to serve. Let's do it. We can take the shot from the side. For the Stormcrow. Oh shit. No, really? Anything with the AP ammo? Nothing? I think things are going swimming. This guy's baking though, so he's not like not like he can actually do anything. Yeah, he had enough. Now it's two against one. Let's see what he does. He's coming back around. Yep. Got a weapon system down. Yep, that's all right. Just hang on, kiddo. Just hang on. Get back here. Yeah, we're going to end. Nope, let's do a ping. Might as well. Because if we get initiative, that'll help us out. We do. Uh, we're, I'm going to reserve you, though. I want to see what this guy's going to do first. Okay. So far, so good. Ready for orders. Let's get down here. And yes. All right, put him over. Commander. Um. Move here, embrace. It kind of protects protects us a little bit here. If he decides to go this way to shoot her in the side, oh, we got a chance to go here. Commander. And we can melee. And let's go for the kill because I don't want to be here for any longer than we have to. So we're going to go for a melee attack from the back. It's only 46%, but good damage. Way. See what he does. Locked on for physical attack. Fuck. He's overheating too, so. What? All right, seven more heat. Okay, he's not firing the large pulse, which means he'll drop a lot of heat here. But awaiting orders. That does open it up for twenty-three. Eh? This. Let's punch him from behind. Confirmed. Hopefully we can knock him unstable. Okay, there's the punch. It's not unstable. Commander. It's fine. Uh, when does he go now? Let's get back here. The border confirmed. Okay, nice. We can ping him again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't think it changes. Oh, no, it did change his evasion. Let's just do it. I'm walking here. We gotta get him. Come on, man. Nice. I think that was a CT hit. Here comes the machine guns. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Not shot. enough for a knockdown. Not quite enough for a knockdown. Orders. Now the question is Do I just try and crit him from behind? Now Do it Rolling. So 
a melee. This is a melee build. Let's just do it. That was a side torso. And what he bailed. Oh, there you go, folks. Beautiful. Salvage. Do the math, Chief. One less mech. Mission successful. So that turned out pretty good. We got some more uh, rep with uh, Clan Wolf, which we were actually decreasing in. So now we're slowly going back up. Um, wait, five? I thought it was six before we even got in here. I know we're going down. Well, whatever. I was pretty sure we had like six or something. So we lost a small ER. We used to be able to fix that. All right. Disputing it. Stormcrow, you want the two parts. As much as I want a Stormcrow part, I need money more than anything. Dropping two clan heatsink kits in here is going to definitely give us the ability to at least pick one up, which we can sell. So let's accept it. Make Wolf even happier. So there's the ERPPC clan. LBX10 clan would be really nice as well. 315 core clan XL engine, which I probably should just take that for the C bills. Um, because we need C bills really badly. Um, let's go with that first. Hopefully we pick up a core here. I mean, they gave us a lot of good good options for taking the two Stormcrow pieces, and it it would be very, very rare that we would be able to get all three pieces anyway, so let's hope we pick up a heatsink kit, and let's hope we pick up a core. All right, we got a Grendel piece. That's pretty good. Clan Pharaoh is nice. We picked up two heatsink kits. I'm going to sell one. I'm going to keep one. And I'm going to sell, because we got three of these, I'm going to sell one, this guy here. So now we've got some good sea bills. We've got some cluster ammo, which is great. Um, so that was actually a pretty good roll. All right, seventy-three thousand. Yeah, we knew it was going to be bad because of the arm, but that specter we'll get we'll get that fixed. Drop a laser in the arm. I'm pretty sure we have. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got some small. Like I know we have just like a regular small laser, and it's not really a big deal. Like I said, this is going to mostly be. Um, melee uh, playthrough anyway so I mean yeah we got small laser we can drop in there uh, I think we've got we got one micro not it's only 0.25 micro pulse laser is a half a ton so we could put that into that will at least hit and do a little extra damage uh, oh yeah I also managed to pick up a clan light tag in the store too so maybe we drop that in but I think I want to save this for the Royals playthrough but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me let me know what you think about the Hatcherman and maybe the weapons we should be going for. I'm thinking a lot of closer range stuff because if we're going to be meleeing, there's no point in putting big guns on it. Um, we want to have like a lot of like point blank stuff that we can just inflict a lot of damage with. Uh, hopefully, get crits. I'm thinking like flamers and stuff to to overheat them to keep them from running away from us. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.